this is Lady Boulay, and I hope you're having a wonderful day. Thank you for your support. Thank you for subscribing to the channel. Thank you for your thumbs up, for your comments, and thank you for sharing the videos. Thank you for all you do to support the channel. And yes, we are commanded to love one another, whether we want to or not, or whether we agree with each other or not. So there is this ongoing discussion on social media about black American culture. And it's a lot of Africans and Caribbeans jumping up saying, oh, you don't have culture, you don't have culture. It's really ignorant. And I'm proud to say that a lot of black Americans, young people, are standing their ground with this idiocy. Because the fact of the matter is, everybody has culture. And so then when you make the case that everybody has culture, then they want to jump up and say, our culture is African culture, when it's really not. African American culture was created in America. But what we really need to do is get a clear understanding about what culture is, because these people don't know what culture is. So here is a working definition of culture. Culture is a set of customs, traditions, values, beliefs, language, and practices that people share in common and that define them as a group of society. Culture also includes the material objects and works of art that are part of this particular group's identity and culture is learned by socialization and depends on human ability. Culture is a term that eludes absolute definition because it is intrinsic to human behavior. So when it says that it eludes absolute definition, that means nobody has an absolute definition of culture because it differs with different groups of people. So here is a real reality that everybody needs to get. For African descendant Americans, our African identity ended when our family members got on those slave ships. Once they made it across the Atlantic Ocean, they became a new kind of people. We lost our African identity and we had to create a new identity based on the experience and the experiences we were having in this country and that is what created our culture. Our culture was created in America. And you can talk to some of these black immigrants until you turn purple in the face. You can tell them that our foreparents could not speak their native language, their African language. They couldn't speak about tribes. They couldn't even play the drums. Everything African was wiped out. And if they tried to hold on to anything visibly, they paid a price for it, as in the case of Kunta Kinte in Roots. They can call that fiction all they want to. That was real. That was, that was the real experience. Now you can go into as many details as you want to with some of these people. They will not get it through their heads. We are not Africans. That was taken from us. We are African descended. Genetically, our DNA matches with African tribes all over Africa. Genetically, we're African, primarily. Culturally, we are not. We created a new culture in America that has nothing to do with Africa. Now, I'm going to go over our culture, some aspects of it, and you will see it has nothing to do with Africa. Here are some of our traditions that have nothing to do with Africa. February is Black History Month. This is the month that's set aside for us to celebrate our history and acknowledge the outstanding accomplishments of black Americans. On the third Monday in January, 
We observe Martin Luther King Day. Dr. Martin Luther King was a revolutionary who was martyred in the United States for fighting for the civil rights of black Americans. On June 19th of every year, African Americans celebrate Juneteenth. It was the day in 1865 that the last enslaved Africans in America were informed that they were free and had been for two and a half years. On December 31st of every year all over black America, watch meeting is observed. This is in memory of the Emancipation Proclamation. The Emancipation Proclamation was to go into effect on January the 1st, 1863. So on December the 31st, New Year's Eve of 1862, the enslaved people gathered in the woods, whatever they were using for churches, in any kind of gathering that they could, and they sat and they waited and they watched the night sky. And when they recognized that the old year had passed and the new year had come, they started singing and rejoicing because they knew they were free. It was called watch meeting and we still do watch meeting. In some communities, they have Emancipation Proclamation Day. That is done on the first day of every year because that is when the Emancipation Proclamation went into effect. This was the law that freed the enslaved people who lived in states that were in rebellion against the United States. They were the states that were fighting in the Civil War against the United States. President Abraham Lincoln freed those enslaved people to anger the South, which it did. But we have to remember that the enslaved people that were living in states that were not fighting against the United States were not freed. The ones living in Delaware, Maryland, Kentucky, and Missouri, those enslaved people were not freed under the Emancipation Proclamation. There was a custom, and it is still observed in some parts of the South, where black people would get up before day on Christmas Day, go to the church, and thank God for another year, for a good crop, for whatever the year had brought them. And they asked for blessings in the coming year. And we called it the four-day meeting because they didn't care about saying before. So they called it the four-day meeting. My parents went to the four-day meeting, and many people did in our part of the South. I'm going to list Memorial Day as an honorable mention because white people took it over. But Memorial Day started out as the formerly enslaved people honoring the enslaved men and women who died in the Civil War. Gospel music is specifically a feature of African American culture, and we call it African American culture because our foreparents really did come from Africa, but Africa did not influence their culture here. And I will repeat myself for emphasis because they were not allowed to demonstrate anything that reminded them of Africa. I will further state that the enslaved people did not bring African culture to the Western Hemisphere. They brought their culture to the Western Hemisphere because even when we say the enslaved people brought the banjo, I heard one African person saying, well, I just can't see how black Americans have culture because they got the banjo from Africa. I guarantee you there are not 10 people in Africa right now that know anything about the banjo. And I'm saying all 54 countries with all 300 tribes and 10,000 languages. I guarantee you they don't know anything about the banjo that we know 
about the banjo. And the only reason they know anything about the banjo at all is because they've heard us talking about the enslaved people brought the banjo with them from Africa. Because it wasn't like they were packing bags and packing up all the things that they wanted when they got on those uh, slave ships. They were barehanded, barefooted, and naked in some cases. So they didn't have time to pick up their favorite items to bring on the slave journey. So they didn't bring the actual banjo. They brought the technology and that technology evolved over hundreds of years. Okay, so this is just part one of African American culture has nothing to do with Africa because I haven't even scratched the surface. Y'all know I don't like for my videos to be too long, so I will do another video at another time bringing more aspects of the African American culture that has nothing to do with Africa. Are we mad at Africa or Africans? Absolutely not. But you have to have clarity. You have to let people know where you stand and why. And I think this is necessary. In the next video that I do on African American culture has nothing to do with Africa. I think that I will focus on literature and art. I think those are the two things that I'll focus on. But anyway, for now, thank you for listening. Let me know what you think about the video. Subscribe to the channel. Give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment. Share the video. And as always, have a great day.